Uh, over the Memorial Day weekend, we drove from our home uh, south of Pittsburgh up to uh, uh, Cleveland by Lake Erie. So, and we traveled 470 miles. So, I'm going to do 470.3 divided by. 37 and 1 with 38 gallons, 12.37 miles per gallon. Horrible. Alright, today we're going to install the unit from Highline uh, Innovations or Highline Hybrids. Uh, this is the motor of my uh, Ford Excursion. Uh, here's the units. Uh, as you can tell, this is a this is a pretty hefty device. Uh, the tubing, the CPU module, and the uh, accumulator. And the uh, cabling for the the power to the CPU. Real quick, it's Ryan again. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, generator that I just installed from uh, Highline Hybrids. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of room in this uh, engine compartment, as you can uh, tell. Uh, I did find space. I removed the shroud that covers uh, here. I'll put it back on later. Uh, found room in between the uh, AC coil and the radiator. I uh, mounted the generator to the bracket that uh, holds the AC coil in place. And as you can see, here is the uh, uh, CPU module. I mounted that to the portion of the the frame there. Uh, right there is the the hose coming out of the unit. And the fill tube and the hose right there. Follow the hose over to the bottom of the accumulator. Uh, here's the accumulator. That comes over across and underneath into the air intake. All right, power. Uh, we ran the power from the CPU. The generator is plugged into the bottom of the CPU, as you can see down below. Up here on top, the power comes out of the CPU over to the side of the battery where we then have the uh, negative and positive terminals hooked up. And I ran the ignition wire across there. I had to add a little additional cable. Uh, so that is running across. The gray wire is the additional cable. Ran across the, the firewall, down inside the fender. Brought it through the door, and just a couple of inches of it is exposed uh, up into the fuse panel.